In this video, we're gonna show you an exercise that's gonna strengthen your upper back, tone those arms, and ultimately give you an awesome upper body workout. Hey there, Hunter Grindle here from Hybrid Fitness. I'm here with Beth today, and we're gonna walk you through an awesome exercise that's gonna to tone your upper back, improve that posture, and give you an awesome upper body workout that you can do at the gym or at home. So let's show you how to do it properly. The movement we're going over today is the tripod row. And what a row is, there's many different types of that. A row is when you're pulling your arm past the plane of your body, just like this. So, Today's row, the tripod row, they name it that because you have three points of stability, three points of contact. So two points from your feet, so go ahead and you can kind of show them. And then one point from your head, so you can see she kind of looks like a tripod here. And you can do this row in a number of ways. Again, what you use for stability doesn't matter so much. You can use the wall, you can use a bench, you can use the floor, some piece of furniture. Now what we're going to do here, as you can see, she's already in a great position. She's got a wider stance, which is great. So we want to make sure she's got a nice flat back and her hips are uh, actually back a little bit. So go ahead. I want you to push your chest forward, Beth. See how when she pushed her chest forward, her back flattened out really nice there. And here, I'm going to turn this camera just a little bit so you can get a better angle. So push that chest forward. We got that nice flat back. She's got the tripod, and now what she's going to do is engage her lat. So this muscle that runs under your armpit, it's your lat, and you can engage that muscle by thinking about this cue back. Think about putting your armpit in your back pocket. Think about that. Boom. So you're going to feel that move, and you're going to pull up using that muscle, and while she's doing that, she's keeping a 90 degree angle with her arm and lifting it right up, keeping that elbow fairly tight to her body, and she's going to exhale up. And inhale down. Very good. So you can make this movement harder, easier, obviously, by changing the resistance. But you can also make it harder, easier by changing the tempo. And to make it harder with the tempo, what I'm going to have Beth do is lift it up for one second and then go down for three seconds. So go ahead, lift that arm right back, and then three seconds down. One, two, three. Lift it right up again. One two, three, and just keep going, Beth. <laughs> Her arm's gonna get tired here. So great, so we're doing it on the bench. Now let's try it on the wall here. So Beth is gonna set up the same, we'll look from this angle, and then we'll flip it around. So same thing, she's got the tripod, she's pushing that chest forward. And so what I'm gonna have Beth do here, she's very upright. See how her, her back is at a different angle compared to what it was on the bench? What, look, what we're gonna do is go ahead, drop that hand lower, Beth. Good, and now push your chest forward. Great, so now her chest is forward, and now keep that elbow nice and tight, and lift. Awesome. So the only difference in this tripod movement with the wall is her, you'll notice her torso's twisted a little bit, and that kind of happens just from changing the angle, but as long as you can maintain that straight back, you're not moving around too much, and you're not feeling pain, then this is gonna be a great option for the tripod row. So what I would recommend when doing the tripod row is do it for three sets of eight to 12 repetitions. And once you do that and your body starts to adapt to it, maybe you're not getting sore from it anymore, add that tempo in that we showed you, the one second up and three seconds down, and that's gonna help you get sore again. That's gonna help stress your body in ways it's not used to. And then of course, just keep bumping up the weight and keeping and maintaining the integrity of that form. A good exercise to alternate this row with could be a push-up, so alternating it with an opposite. We have a pull, this is the row. Let's do it, we could do push-ups, we could do a bench press, um, we could do a medicine ball, wall throw, anything that's doing the opposite <coughs> direction of that pull is gonna be a great movement to combine this with. Or if you wanna combine it with a lower body movement, you could do a squat variation. So a goblet squat, an air squat, and we have many videos that demonstrate these movements as well. Well, there you have it. That is the tripod row. Use this today, use this at home, and after a few weeks, you're gonna see some improvements in your upper back strength, your posture, the definition in your arms. But hey, if you like this video, if you got value from this video, hit that like button below. If you have any questions or suggestions for a video next time, please leave a comment below. And as always, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, join the Hybrid Fitness family, and we'll send videos to you every single week. So with that said, remember, small steps, 
big results. Shh. <laughs>